Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video. Today, I bring you guys an Immortal Elemental Amara build. This is going to help you survive anything and everything. You want to go into Slaughter Shaft, you don't have the best gear. This is a very good build to use for those situations. So what I will do is I'll go over my weapons first. Then I'm just going to breeze through the tree. And then after that, I'll show you some gameplay and explain all the synergies between these things over the gameplay. So as always, if you guys find this video helpful in any way, please help me out by hitting that like button. And if you want to subscribe for more content, that's completely up to you. So let's get right into it. For the weapons, I like to take an incendiary, shock, and corrosive weapons. For my incendiary weapons, I like to take a long musket. This weapon is very good up close. It is a flamethrower and a destroyed slash. For my second weapon, I like to take a brainstormer. This weapon, whenever you shoot an enemy, it creates lightning effect that affects other enemies, therefore doing more damage over time. Then I like to take a Linoge for the corrosive damage. This weapon is actually insane when you're very up close. Long range, it's actually really bad, but up close, really good weapon to have, especially against Zealots to destroy their first line of armor because it takes forever to destroy with anything else. And finally, I got an Omni Loader. This weapon instantly reloads all your weapons whenever this is reloaded. I got this idea from Eroctic, so big shout out to him. You can get this weapon in the mission called the Family Jewel in Eden 6. So whenever I run out of ammo in any of these weapons, I just switch to this one, reload it, and it reloads all my weapons. For my shield, I like to take a Transformer. Everyone who knows what this is by now, if you don't, I'm 100% resistance to any shock damage, and any shock damage I take is converted into shields. So essentially, I'm immortal if I just keep getting shot by shock damage. You can also do a little cheesy method and use a weapon that you could shoot your feet with, splash damage weapon with shock damage, and you can just replenish your shield every time you need to. For the class mod, I like to take a phase Urker. Now what this is going to do is give me extra five rush stacks. So in total, you have 10 from the blue tree plus five, that's 15 and they are granted to you whenever you activate your action skill. So on action skill use, you gain your max rush stack. That is 15, and then you get 3% weapon damage per rush stack. So that's 45% extra weapon damage just with this class mod. For my grenade, I like to take a hex. It's completely up to you. You can take whatever grenade you want. As long as it's a go one, don't take some trash grenade. <laughs> and then for my artifact, I like to take an elemental projector victory rush. What Elemental Projector does is, while suffering an elemental effect, increase your damage with that same element. So if I'm currently being burned and you see little fire around your screen, that means that you're going to be doing 90% more incendiary damage. Depends on what element you're being affected by. And I also like to take that Victory Rush because whenever you kill a badass, you trigger Victory Rush with increases movement speed and damage by 18%. And this lasts for 60 seconds. That is a long time. When you're doing Slaughter Shaft, you kill a lot of badasses, there's a lot. So essentially, this is going to run forever. You're always going to have 18% movement speed and damage. Okay, now let's just run through the skill tree, and then after that, we'll, I'll show you the gameplay with all the synergies and everything. So you want to start off on the red tree, and you want to max out Anima, max out Tempest, max out Wildfire, Dread, Deep Well, Indiscriminate, get 5 points as a statement, and get Forceful Expression. Now, a lot of people recently have been using Infusion, but this is still bugged. You can still use it if you don't plan on using any incendiary weapon. You can use this and use any other weapon, but if your weapon is not good enough, this is not going to help you at all. So that's why I just go with Wildfire. This is going to spread status effects. Now, for the green tree, you want to put three points into personal space, two into Root to Rise, five into Helping Hands, you also want to max out Arms Deal, and you want to max out One with Nature. And finally, for the blue tree, you want to put one point into Do Harm, one point into Violent Tapestry. For the action skill, you want to get Ties That Bind with Allure and Soul Fire. Again, you can change this depending on what you want to run. I suggest you keep it at either this or Corrosive Damage. Don't worry about having Shock Damage as your Elemental. Reason being is because most of the shields, you can just burn through them with the Brainstormer. And now let's go ahead into the explanation. Enjoy the gameplay in the background, so let's just get into it. Ties that bind will grasp an enemy and create links to nearby targets. These links are going to share 35% of whatever damage you deal to that grasped enemy. 
So for that very reason, I suggest that you always grasp the target with the most health and the rest around him should die before you kill this guy. Allure will create a singularity that pulls enemies in and this is very helpful against mobs. It also pulls in barrels so if there's barrels around they can get pulled in and explode on the target. Anima and Wildfire will provide you with more damage over time. Anima increases the damage and duration of status effects and Wildfire will help you spread those status effects to do even more dot damage to other enemies. Tempest and Fourth Floor Expression will provide you with insane increase to your elemental damage. Tempest will increase your elemental damage by 30% and an extra 20% for any shock damage. Forceful Expression will give you bonus elemental damage of 18%. Dread will increase your gun damage by 15% after you grasp an enemy. And if you kill that grass enemy, your weapon gets instantly reloaded. Deep Well will increase your magazine size. This is going to help you reload less and do more DPS. Indiscriminate is going to give you a ricochet chance. That ricochet chance will be increased when you're shooting a grasped target. This is going to synergize very well with the Brainstormer. So whenever you shoot an enemy with the Brainstormer, you know there's a chance to create a chain of lightning, right? Well, aside from that, whenever Indiscriminate creates that ricochet and you hit a different enemy, that enemy also gets a chance to create that lightning chain. So essentially, you can hit multiple targets multiple times with that lightning chain effect and essentially do more damage and it just helps you shred through mobs. Sustainment will give you life steal, so whenever you deal elemental damage, you'll get some of that back as health. This is going to help you a lot. Personal space is going to increase your damage based on how close you are to the target up to 36% damage and since you are always close to the enemies when mobbing you'll have most of this damage for most of the time. Root to rise will increase your overall health pretty straightforward. Arms deal, helping hands and one with nature will give you insane damage reduction. Arms deal will help you with zealots and their splash damage. Helping hands will provide you with 40% damage reduction. This is going to add to your survivability quite a bit. And then finally, one with nature will give you 25% additional health and provide you with 40% elemental damage reduction based on your action skill element. So for this very reason, that's why I suggested you take incendiary or corrosive because you're already immune to shock damage thanks to the transformer shield. So might as well take 40% less damage from a different element. And finally, you have do harm and violent tapestry. These are going to provide you with rush stacks. Putting one point into any of these was essential to get those 10 rush stacks from the blue tree. Otherwise, you wouldn't have them. You could keep it like this, one and one, or you can just put two into do harm. It's completely up to you. Like I said, this build is going to help you survive anything and everything. As you can see by the gameplay, I'm just running around getting rocketed. And thanks to all that damage reduction and sustainment, I can just survive quite a bit obviously it's not like you can just sit there like an invincibility glitch you still have to put in work but it makes it a whole lot easier so that's gonna be it for me if you guys found this video helpful in any way shape or form please help me out by hitting that like button it really does help out and if you want to see more borderlands content like this please make sure to subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next video peace